It's not about excess and us right now, it's about pride. Sunday's 27-point loss to Houston behind James Harden's 56-point effort was flat-out embarrassing. I think it'll be easier for us next game, because we got embarrassed tonight, said Jazz guard Rodney Hood. We are guys with a lot of pride that will come and fight. Obviously, it hurts right now, but we're not going to hang our head, we know what we've got to do, Hoda added. Jazz coach Quinn Snyder said that there is a lot that needs to be fixed after trailing by as many as 32 points in Houston. Lack of discipline and communication on defense contributed to the poor showing. Allowing Harden to go off for 56 didn't help either. We are a better team than what we showed tonight, and that is not an excuse for tonight, Snyder said. Anyone can say that. The challenge is we have to be better as a team, and our guys know it. Injury, Rockets point guard Chris Paul is still at least two weeks away from returning after suffering a left knee injury in the season-opening win against Golden State. Houston coach Mike D'Antoni recently told the Houston Chronicle that the team would hold him out until he's completely well. The Rockets are 8-3 and at the top of the Western Conference standings. Paul was spotted walking past the locker room area after the Jazz victory in good spirits. Super Rudy Block, Super Rudy Block is more than just a video game. Swatting shots is a way of life for 7-foot-1 Frenchman Rudy Gobert. The All-NBA center led the league in blocked shots in 2016-17 with 2.64 per game, while making the NBA All-Defensive team. Through 10 games, Gobert continues to lead the league in swats, averaging 2.78, with 25 total. Golden State's Kevin Durant sits in second place with 24 in 10 games. Gobert logged five total blocks in two games at the Toyota Center last season, but didn't record any Sunday night. He finished second in the Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year voting to Warriors forward Draymond Green. He's trying to get the team on the same page and take pride in its defense. We learned that we need to play defense and we need to be smart, Gobert said. We've got the ability to be smart, to be physical, we're athletic and can protect the basket. But we've got to be able to be smart and adapt to different style of play. Jazz drafty balling overseas with the 55th pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz selected Gonzaga guard Nigel Williams Goss. Instead of trying to make the opening night roster, the crafty guard decided to take his talent overseas. While the Jazz retain his NBA rights, Williams Goss stars for the KK Partisan NIST team in Serbia. He is averaging 15.3 points, 8.3 assists and 5.0 rebounds, while shooting 50% from beyond the arc and 49.1% from the field through six games against ABA League competition. In four Euro Cup games, he averages 18.5 points and 5.5 assists. The six-foot three floor general agreed to a two-year deal and guaranteed roster spot in August.